the one thing investors should look out for in 2024 in Asian fixed income is how Asian central banks manage higher for longer U.S. rates and to what extent Asian central banks can desynchronize from the U.S. monetary policy. Of course, another very important factor investors should look out for is the China growth recovery. Overall, we believe this is the time for fixed income to have a comeback. Yields are at levels unseen for years, with the full impact of higher rates in the U.S. gradually materializing. We see high probability for yields to perform next year. For Asia specifically, we like the high-yielding local currency bonds given their very competitive yields on FX volatility characteristics and the stage of the economic and monetary cycle. One Asia is expected to contribute significantly to global economic growth in 2024. In particular, looking beyond the next year, South Asia is identified as a region in the world with one of the highest potential growth and productivity in the coming decade, driven by its supply chain diversification and young population. Superior growth prospects will gradually translate into improving macroeconomic fundamentals, which then leads to positive sovereign rating trajectory and a repricing of fixed income assets in those countries and regions. Reason number two, over the medium to longer term, increasing intra-regional activities will help Asian economies desynchronize more with the U.S. and be driven more by regional factors and capital flows. This means FX volatility will gradually come down, which will lead to fundamental repricing of Asian fixed income. Number three, Asian bonds could be an effective antidote to broader market volatility and the global slowdown. Historically, Asian local currency government bonds have the lowest beta to U.S. Treasury compared with other emerging markets. And it has competitive yield on currency volatility, making it a good candidate to diversify risks in portfolios. Similarly, Asian investment-grade bonds offer a more competitive risk-reward profile compared with to other global credit markets. The strong banking system and very solid corporate balance sheets will continue to underpin valuation of the broader Asian fixed income market.